welcome to the final day of this year's World Forum for Democracy. We'll have a roundup of what's happened so far. Youth delegates will tell us why they came and what they've learned. And we'll find out who won the Democracy Innovation Award. Democracy is something that could easily be censored in Vietnam, so that's why I want to take this chance and I want to actually explore about the democratic process and how it developed in developing countries like Vietnam. My hope is to, uh, to see a kind of world where journalists uh, are working um, like without any trait. They are uh, doing their job uh, without being killed or arrested. So this is one of the, the, the main reasons that I'm here. And yes, I'm hoping for a better future for journalists. I work locally with displaced Ukrainians in Finland. Uh, I have a peace building startup that combines artistic and technological innovations to design peace processes. Peace and democracy are very intertwined. And since I work at the local level, I also wanted to kind of zoom out and see what are the conversations globally about democracy, about peace and also about support in Ukraine. It's now time uh, at midday to move on to the Democracy Innovation uh, Award. The Innovation Democracy Award winner 2023. I'm just thrilled and exhilarated and so humbled and honored. I think firstly it means the recognition that this is an important topic. Definitely in Mexico, one of the most lethal countries for reporters in the entire world but also for reporters everywhere in the world who are documenting and making sure that we as citizens of democracies and as people in the world know about things that are happening. And fittingly, for an event dedicated to peace, the World Forum for Democracy 2023 played out with a classic anti-war anthem. In your head, in your head. When we meet all of the people here that does widely different things to contribute to democracy and peace, that gives me hope. Amen.